Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rahul Tyagi and today I will be talking about credentials in Power Automate. In this video, I will give you an overview of a new feature in Power Automate that basically facilitates the management of credentials through Azure Keyboard. So let's move to the agenda of this video and let's see what all we will be covering in this video. So in this video, we will talk about what are credentials in Power Automate, how credential works in Power Automate, what are the key benefits of using credentials in Power Automate? And at the end, I will show you the live demo that how you can use these credentials in Power Automate. So let's talk about the first point, what are credentials in Power Automate? Credentials in Power Automate basically enables you to generate, modify login credentials via Azure Vault, which can be utilized in the desktop flow connections. So let's discuss this in more details. So credentials in Power Automate are managed through two types of environment variable. The first is the text environment variable, as you can see on the left side, and the second is the secret environment variable. So secret environment variable basically points to the secret in the Azure Key Vault, and combination of these two username and password makes up the credentials. So let's understand like how we used to connect our desktop flow uh, earlier with the cloud flow. So in Cloudflow, in case I need to uh, access the desktop flow, so what I need to provide, I need to provide the username, password, and the machine name. But in this scenario, in case you use credentials, so this new option will be available to you. As you can see, it is marked in red. And once you click on this option, so this will basically hide the username and password, and uh, the screen will look like this. So in this, you only need to pass the Windows credentials that you have created in Power Automate. And how these Windows credentials are created in Power Automate, I will show you in my live demo. Uh, but in this scenario, you need not to pass the username and password. So this is how uh, Windows credentials can be passed and desktop flows can be connected uh, within the cloud flows. So before moving to the live demo, let's understand the benefit of this feature uh, that is credentials in Power Automate. So the first benefit of this feature is it comes with a credential manager. Basically, it has a centralized repository wherein you can manage all your credentials in one place. And this will also allow you to easily manage and retrieve your login information. The second benefit is RBAC. RBA, RBAC is basically the role-based access uh, credentials. So credentials can be shared and used without giving access to the secret themselves. So this is the second key benefit of using credentials. Third is the ALM. ALM is application lifecycle management. So as we all know, like credentials are based on environment variables and which are ALM compliant and uh, can be exported while exporting your solutions. So the, this is the third key benefit of using credential. And the last benefit is uh, password rotations. So credentials and connections using them are updated when the Azure Key Vault secret are updated. So let's move to the live demo and see like how you can use credentials in Power Automate. So for using credentials in Power Automate, uh, you need to navigate to make.powerautomate.com and once you uh, type in this URL, this will navigate you to the main landing page of Power Automate. Then you need to click on more and then you need to click on discover all. Over here, you will see the preview feature of this credentials in Power Automate. You need to click on this. This is the basically the central repository I was talking about. So creating, uh, in case you want to create a new credential, you can easily create a new credentials. Uh, by typing the credential name and you need to pass the username and password. So these username and password are basically the environment variables that we have created. So this environment variable is basically of type uh, text and this environment variable, the password environment variable is of type uh, secret. So I will show you where you can uh, basically create these environment variables. So to create the environment variable that you need to uh, create the credentials, uh, you need to go to the solutions and you can choose your existing solution or you can create your own solution. Uh, like I've created one solution called as environment variables. Uh, in this, I have used, uh, or I've created two, uh, two uh, environment variable, one with name username and another is password. So let's see what I have used in username. So username 
environment variable is of type text and you need to only provide the display name but in case of password as password uh, environment variable is of data type secret and in secret data type you have also selected the uh, secret store that is azure key vault and you need to provide some additional information like azure subscription id resource group name and azure key vault name and secret name so once these two variables are ready and you have provided the required information then you can use these two variables uh, while creating the uh, credentials in power automate under a centralized repository so uh, let's see how we can use the credentials in power automate so for using this credential in power automate we need to first create the flow uh, i'm creating a test flow uh, wherein i'm choosing a instant cloud flow manual flow trigger i am switching its view to the old view and over here i will click on next step and choose the test of flow option and in test of flow action i will choose this action over here uh, you can see the new option is available like switch to credentials in case uh, I, I don't want to use this credential then i need to pass the machine name username and password in case i use this option then this will basically switch to the windows credential wherein uh, the credential that i have just created in the repository the centralized repository centralized repository of credential that will appear and i have created this with the name dev underscore credential so i will choose this dev underscore credentials and i need to provide the machine name and i'm done so once i click on create it will basically connect me to the desktop flow that i have created so this is how uh, we can use credentials in power automate so thank you for watching my video in case you like my video do like share and subscribe my youtube channel that is rahul m365